object B. Um, so just use the circle tool. Uh, I gave it a brown, so I just double clicked on my fill, went to the brown, said OK. Uh, let's see. I think I just invert right there. So then I have a brown stroke um, to move this out of the way. Okay, so then I use my scissor tool here, and about there. And after I use my scissor tool, if I just do my white arrow tool and hit delete, as I clicked and dragged over, hit delete, I can select over that whole stroke there, go here to the stroke panel. If you don't see it, go to window, click stroke, expand the stroke panel. You might have to do that. You might have to click the little double headed arrow down. Go to profile. And if you hold down shift and press up arrow, you can go in increments of 10. I think it's if you hold down option or option, it goes into smaller increments. Anyway, there you go. Um, use my rotate command. This is a one I love to do. It's just you click on the rotate tool and then you find like kind of the center of where you're trying to click. And if you hold down alt or option on a Mac, it's option and you click. I like to pivot off of turning the preview on to kind of see where they're at. So I kind of have already, you know, I could pull this back up or down. And then after I like it, and I like kind of see where it's going. I just say copy. And then if I hit directly after that, if I hit command D, I can kind of create the copies. Now, um, that's how I did that. If you don't, if yours didn't turn out perfect, just go back and repeat this last step. Then um, what I did for the center is I just grabbed the circle tool, stroke like that right there, and I think I did align the stroke to the outside. Bumped it up, and then I was like, all right, well, I'm going to give it a pink. So I went over here to, since the stroke is on the top, if I go eye drop the pink area, and then I think I can click on the gradient tool down here. And boom. There you go. Then I could also add another stroke, which would be kind of cool. Go to the appearance panel. I go window, add new stroke. And then I think this is where I gave it. Second stroke, I gave a black fill. And then, like, this is too much, so I just brought that down. That's how I did that.